What is happening, viewers? This is Witty Crusader. Welcome back to Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last episode, we were addicted to Carmelita again, and because of that, we got blown up a few times trying to collect the spice gas. Karma is just awesome. And in this episode, we're going to start by stealing the first clockwork lung. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. Right. Oh, and if you miss the train, uh, it will, you will fail. To a point. After it goes through that electrical barrier thing, yeah. Anyway, so let's just start. Our first friendly stealth mission. Quote unquote, I think. What's a stealth mission without lasers in a Sly game? Seriously. Alrighty. Ah, eagles! I'm a patriot, leave me alone! Actually, no, because I'd be a patriot, they wouldn't leave me alone because they're Canadian eagles. I think. I totally disregard what I just said. Forget it. I don't have anything against Canadians. I'll just say it that much. Oh, actually, I actually never met one. Huh, that's funny. And just for the fun of it, let's do this. Great! Oh. Oh, of course I get burned. And that's all there is to it, really. You don't have, really have to do anything. <laughs> Yeah, we get a lung. That's disgusting. Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Bassan's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby hand car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. Yeah, because no one messes with Mama Bear. Cause she's an unbearable force. Yeah, I make that joke too much, I apologize. Okay, then let's start with that, uh, what was it called? Aerial Assault. Oh, waiting for the train to cross. Go! I'm a civilized turtle. Whoops! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, and that bear will go for any guards in the area. But it generally stays around its cave. The bear cave is down there. Let's get up here. Lights out. 
Heads up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done. Provided I can catch up with that train! I guess adrenaline burst can come in handy here. Supposedly. But seriously, I don't think you'll need it. <laughs> of course that happens. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll need it. I missed the train. Ugh. <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Uh, if you miss that window of opportunity, you will fail because the train goes too fast for you to uh, get at a different point. <laughs> I, I expected that to happen. <laughs> oh, what a riot. What a riot. What a riot. Oh, let's just continue. Oh, boy. This had better work. Slime won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops bombs and the square button shoots forward. Yep. So this would be like a standard arcade game, actually. Sort of. I should bomb those missile launchers before things get ugly. Comes with rad music. Now, honestly, there's two ways you can shoot them or you can just, like, stay out of the way. Whatever you prefer. Boom! Goodbye, duck! I didn't know missiles could do that. Okay, oh, choppers! If you're not used to the mechanics, you might have some difficulty, but after a first couple of times, you'll be a pro. Being said, I'm probably gonna get hit at some point. <laughs> Just waiting for things to do. I'm waiting for a challenge here. Give me a challenge. Come on, anything. This is it. The final stretch. Oh, choppers and rockets. I am all a quiver. I'm so close. And I did that without taking damage once. Oh, yeah. Now it's all up to Sly to finish the job. Okay, I'm done. Pat myself on the back. Let's just move on to the next mission. I think based on the time, it will be another micro-episode like Chapter 5. Because these chapters are now getting a little bit more long than an hour. Because after the uh, second long and the bear kidnapping, it's just the uh, operation. That's it. So, yeah. Let's just head back to the sick house. The oh so cozy, safe beyond safe safe house. That's safe. Yeah. Okay, we gotta go that way and stop hanging on the edge. Hang on my, I hang on the edge on a daily basis. Why don't you hang on another leg? <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't. Uh, a weird thing happens here. If you 
I like... Well, that was a close one. If you like stand on the barrel, I think it counts as being on the... Uh, yeah, it counts as being hidden right, icon. It's weird. Horse train is coming too fast. You might not have time to jump on top. Relax, Bentley. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. Uh, yeah. I think this is what he was implying. Another stealth section. Get right. Tony would approve. The other clockwork lug should be hooked into the engine's furnace. Sneak your way up there and grab it. These guys are sleeping on the job. Why do so many guards sleep on the job? Terrible employees. What terrible? You should have seen how many missile launchers there were attached to these train cars. I don't mind saying that it took some real finesse on my part to deal with the defenses. Oh yeah, pat yourself on the back. Welcome to Oblivion. Ooh, he's got a shiny pocket. I wonder what's in his shiny pocket. Whoa, a large gold bar. I'm rich. of Lumberjack code is to become disabled in a certain way. What does he do? Grab the axe and chop off their legs? I don't have any idea. But these folks are going to go through that same discipline too, because I got a second lung. I got a full set. Fantastic! We are raking in the clockwork parts left and right! Whoa! Look at the time! Maybe I don't have to do another episode. Maybe we can finish all this chapter now. That would be great. Hey, yeah, let's just steal the bear cubs. And be on with it. Wow, I didn't expect to go through my favorite chapter oh so quickly. Because it's my favorite chapter! Um, I think it's my favorite because some of these missions are cool, like the, uh, despite my failed attempts at these spice gas, that was fun. And the, uh, the train missions are fun too. I don't exactly like this Bear Cup one coming up next, and despite my calling myself a dick for mess messing with Carmelita, that one's more of a challenging pickpocket. Even more so than the Contessa, I think. Okay, right. Well, I have to turn that on. Okay. That must have burned a lot. We'll need this hand car to chase down Iron Horse number three. But for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. Yeah. The metal's too resilient for my bobs or your muscle. So for this job, we are going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother for her child. Um uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two Oh, okay. I thought you were playing at something else. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabble should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. Yeah. 
I don't know if that's true. I never really watched Discovery Channel all that much, so I don't know if bears are antisocial. By the way, please don't hate me for animal cruelty, and there's Carmelina again. It doesn't matter who you are, she'll still chase after you, obviously. I, th I think she'll say... Good work, Murray. I'll send you the coordinates to the next bear cub. Sub I think she'll say something else every time you evade her. Possibly, I don't know. I don't want to experiment. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Sorry to say it, but the other cub is somewhere in this bear cave. Be careful, Murray. Run away! I'll help you file an Amber Alert. Oh, uh, no, that's not, that's not something I should joke about. I do apologize. So run away! I can't believe how smoothly that went. Well, that was fast. The mother is already on her way. Thank you. That was beautiful. Just like a nature documentary. Only more violent. Um, I think nature is violent, Bentley. You know, the whole circle of life, law of the jungle, all that jazz. Okay, guys, this is it. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stuff. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new handcart. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook trade robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? Hey, remember the last chapter? Stuff went wrong. So stuff's gonna go wrong if you say that. What a jinx. Yeah, let's do the operation. I didn't expect to go through this chapter this quickly. Hop aboard, guys. We've got a train to catch. So why couldn't I do it the other times? I don't know. Anyway. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. The Murray's strength knows no limit. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get exhausted. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts, and he walks away with the stomach and lungs. It still creeps me out. You get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique handcart at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. I guess it is kind of weird per se, but honestly, who would take his lungs and stomach? I don't think anyone would. I think he was just left with it. Because he's so old school, or I wouldn't know much to do with him. So I guess this is the best way you could do with him. And I really don't know what else you could do with lungs and a stomach. Besides make a delicacy. But these are metallic. I don't think you can make a delicacy out of that. So, never mind. And I think it's a little excessive for just watching your luggage. Though so, I don't really travel that often, so maybe it is a bit excessive. Ain't nobody getting past me. That there clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse trains. By Jiminy, I get hot neat the collar just thinking about how I cut that boy down. Uh, I'd kill him like a spawn of dog. I'm sure. I'm surprised he didn't even look out the window. Actually, my heart did drop for a second. Oh, look who it is! Hello, Mila. What a fancy new toy you have. Can I hey, break Cooper. it? Hey, I might find you here. 
just can't stay away from these clockwork pops, can you? And how are you wearing uh, just shorts in this weather? Ladies like yourself. It's freaking snowy. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. <laughs> Neela's got me penned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Yeah. Well, Cooper, let's play. I agree, let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. Now for a chance to get back at you. Oh, you're gonna pay for what you did in chapter 3 and 5. Basically, just like the RC before, except it's a boss fight. Oh boy. You are gonna go down! Oh, grenades! So what? Whoa! Thank you, oh, I got hit. This is a. What? Oh no! Oh no! You are so outclassed. Pink cat. Whatever you say, poodle. I got hit at the end. Oh man, it's not a flawless victory. Not the same Mortal Kombat, so who cares? Get to that clockwork stomach fast. This old hand cart is starting to fall apart. Um. Okay, Murray. Uh, this will be tricky. So let's just kill the first guy. Why not? Let's sneak by this one without spilling any of the, uh... I thought it was wine. Maybe it's just maple syrup. I don't know. Oh, whoa. Jeez, if this doesn't get your heart pumping, that looks so dangerous. One wrong move and you're dead. Too far. What's up, dude? Adios! Not so amigo. Again, we're gonna sleep on the job. Job aside needs better henchmen, guards, or employees, faculty. Never thought I'd see the day. Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. And that's just what we'll do. A well-placed bomb down the train's smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast. Oh, round two, Mila? part is mine. They will all be mine. What's your obsession with the clockwork parts? I'll be happy to engage around two. I haven't. You haven't gotten enough. Damn it. Lost my words and lost my health. In the same go. Whoa! Oh, no, whoa! As I was saying, you have nearly got enough punishment. I guess theoretically, three or four hits and you're a dead duck. You won't stop me! Not the Cooper gang! Not Interpol! Not anyone! Toodaloo, pretty cat! Hope you crash! Stand clear, Sly! This might be best! I've got an upset stomach on my hands. Really? But other than that, I feel great. An upset stomach. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's the end of chapter six. I'm shocked we got through this this quickly.
The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Dasan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. You got some twisted logic, Sly. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Well, on that note, <laughs> that's the end of chapter 6. In the next video, we will go over the clue bottles of, around uh, John, ba John Bisson's uh, train camp. So until then, give me a thumbs up if you had fun. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you in the next video. This is Weedy Crusader, signing off. I will see you guys next time.